Now back in 2015, Honda launched the Shine SP and then the SP125 in 2019. And the SP moniker seems to have worked really well for them and that's why they've decided why not give it a 160 suffix and that's what we have with us today the Honda SP 160. Hi my name is Dhruv Paliwal you're watching AutoX let's get started. Now when it comes to design, Honda generally likes to play it safe, but with the SP160, they seem to have kicked that notion out of the window. And why do I say that? It's because, well, let's start with the front end. There's got a really aggressively V-shaped cowl out there that looks really sporty, really nice, and stands out in a sea of commuter motorcycles. The same goes for this wind deflector over here, which not only looks nice, but I think is gonna work really well in deflecting wind as well. But the biggest highlight and the biggest reason why this motorcycle comes across as aggressively designed are these tank shouts. They are huge. In person, they look really big, really chunky. They don't look out of place, but they really do add a bit of muscle to the motorcycle. And that's never really a bad thing. Now let's move on to the rear end of the motorcycle. Again, the seat over here is a bit wide, which is going to be comfortable and also give this motorcycle a lot of presence. And even at the rear end, the tail lamps, they have been uniquely designed and really stand out. Design's one thing, but when it comes to Honda motorcycles, it's the mechanicals that matter. And even to Honda buyers, that's the first thing they want to know. So let's get talking about that. The engine over here, that's a 162cc unit. It makes about 13.2 brake horsepower, 14.58 Newton meters of torque, and there's a five speed transmission on offer. As far as the tires go, you've got an 80 section tire at the front, a 130 section tire at the back, and both of them ride on 17 inch alloy wheels, and you've got MRF tires on offer. The suspension, well, as you can see, it's a regular telescopic unit at the front, and there's a monoshock unit at the back. And the braking duties, well, it's handled by a 276mm disc at the front and a 220mm disc at the rear. Now, Honda is offering this motorcycle in two versions, once the dual disc variant and once the single disc variant. In the single disc variant, you get a 130mm drum brake at the rear. In case of both the versions, you only have a single channel ABS, so that means that ABS will be restricted only to the front wheel. Now the SP160, it's gonna try and woo commuters. Commuters who want a dash of sportiness in their everyday ride. Well, it does look sporty, so that box is checked. As far as the ride is concerned, well, it's a Honda, so we have decent expectations from it. But obviously, we can only tell you about that when we ride the motorcycle. But the one thing that can actually seal the deal on showroom floors in today's day and age are features. And features like the LED headlight we have up front, which obviously is going to attract a lot of buyers. But more than that, I think it's the instrument cluster of this motorcycle that's really going to appeal to a lot of people. While the screen in itself is small, it's packing in a lot of information and all of that is displayed in a digital fashion. The features that we like here the most, although are that with every trip, that is trip A and trip B, you get the kind of information that how much fuel have you used for that particular riding distance. So imagine if you're on trip A and you've ridden for 50 kilometers, the motorcycle will tell you how much fuel you use for those 50 kilometers. You'll also get the average fuel efficiency overall, the distance that you've driven, and your average speed as well. And on top of that, your battery voltage is going to be displayed right here on the screen. So you will know when your battery is about to fail and you can get it changed in time. I think in a commuter segment, all of these features are really top notch. All of these features are going to be really helpful for the people who are going to be buying the SP160. Now, when it comes to wooing customers, you don't just need features. You also need color options because India loves its colors. And Honda's got you covered on that front with six color options. They are matte dark blue metallic, pearl spartan red, matte axis gray metallic, pearl ignite black, matte marble blue metallic, and pearl deep ground gray. 
Now this one, that's the pearl deep brown grey and this is my favourite. But I would love to know which colour you like the best. Let us know down in the comments box below. Now as far as first impressions go, the Honda SP160 is making a good one. It's got nice aggressive looks, there's a decent feature list out there and obviously it's packed by solid Honda mechanicals. Obviously the price will be the ultimate test for this motorcycle and we will let you know when that comes out. In the meantime, if you liked this video, please hit that like button, share this video with your friends, subscribe to the AutoX channel for more such automotive content and Thank you so much for watching.